Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody and welcome to my Simple Valley home. Today's video is a good one. I am finally going to share with you guys my junk stock hauls and I also decided to throw in two other hauls in the video. One is a garage sale finds from a place called Grandpa's Barn which is located here in Omaha, Nebraska. I went that weekend to go look at the finds. I saw them on Facebook and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to go look. I went on Junk Stock Weekend and it was a really good one. I really enjoyed that place. The second one is a Amazon haul. I will have those links in the description box down below. I just wanted to stock up on some items for my summer home tour that I will be sharing with you guys shortly, probably in the middle of June. So I will go ahead and go over all these hauls. And if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down in the description box. If you guys enjoy the hauls, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. And let's go ahead and dive into these fun goodies. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the junk stock goodies. I had so much fun there. I really wanted to buy everything. I know all of you guys were probably like, okay, budget, 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 but you know, I had to stick with it because I would just buy the whole place. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the first items that I got in that first booth of me and Ashley where we could spend there all day. It was the one with all the cats and I couldn't help myself. I spotted these little cute birdies. Oh my gosh, they're silver. One of them has a little bit of tarnish on his little beak and head, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of it. But they are salt and pepper shakers. How fun is that? And it's on this little beautiful stand. So again, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just uh, polish it up. And I'm thinking about displaying this probably in my kitchen or like on my island or even maybe in um, my little hutch area above my microwave. I'm not sure yet, but they are too adorable. I could not pass them up. They were uh, probably $20. It wasn't too pricey, especially being that it's silver and such a unique piece. So I really enjoyed these, they're adorable. Now the second piece that I got from that same booth, I'm sure you guys saw this as I was recording, was this beautiful green tray. I love the mutedness, I love the vintage details. It's probably a 60s um, late era maybe. Please comment down below if you guys have seen these and you know what era this is but I just love this. I think it's a universal piece. It was $8 and what I like about it, not only because of course it's green, is that you could use a lot of uh, places for this. I could put this in my bookcase with some fun potpourri items. I could also do um, like a candle inside the vessel, some fruit. There's just so many ways of styling this, especially during fall. Can you imagine like pine cones during Christmas time? I mean, come on, it's a really beautiful piece. I really love this. And of course, again, the scallop detail. I don't know if you guys can see. And then the bottom half as well. You can see it's kind of fluted. But yeah, so this is my second favorite piece. Um, then I've got another cool item that's kind of universal as well. And I think what it is, is a chocolate box, but I just absolutely love the print on it. Just, it's just so beautiful. And it's very, you know, vintage inspired with the roses and stuff. And I was just inspired by all those spring colors and florals. And the inside is fun too. Look at that, it's gold. How cool is that? And I thought maybe how fun would it be to have like a plant kind of spilling out or just even stacked on some books and like a beautiful vignette on a bookcase or in any, even in my uh, Pottery Barn bookcase with some books underneath. And I just absolutely could not 
get over the little scene on there. Look how precious that is. And um, I got it from my booth uh, that was, um, she had some, lots of, oh, I got it from the booth where she had the um, $9 brass easel. And I regret putting that back, by the way. I know you guys were like, don't put that back. I put it back and I remember why I put it back is because it wasn't very sturdy. When I put it back, it was like kind of flimsy. So I was like, okay, that would be really annoying if I tried to put something on there and it would just keep falling over. So that's why I put that back. But if it was sturdy, I would have definitely bought it. And this is from that booth. And this was not terrible. It was $6 and it's metal. And I think again, it's probably a chocolate box. Um, just something fun. And let me know if you guys know what era this is. If, if you've seen this and uh, leave a comment down below. But yes, this is another one of my favorite pieces that I, that I also got from that first booth with all the kitties was this. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this? It is, I just, I, I couldn't get over the colors and I can't wait to share with you guys the next piece that I think that will go so perfect with this in my Pottery Bone Bookcase. I guess I was drawn to lots of yellows and pinks and greens because um, that's pretty much what I got um, at the vintage market. And my mom looked at this and she thinks it's a candle holder. I don't know if you guys can see. Look how cool it would be with a little candle. I tried sticking one in there. Um, I think I probably have to use a mini candle, but it's just, it's just so cool. I just love the detail of it. It's, it's definitely unique and it's very um, fragile. So I had them hold it for me when I went shopping. I didn't realize there's a little bud here. Look how cool. But uh, let me know if you guys enjoy this. I think it would be kind of fun to style on top of some books or even just have it, you know, just displayed in a cabinet. So I really like that as well. Now, the next piece that I got from that same first booth, and I, again, if you notice the yellows and pinks, oh, I love this. I saw it and I was like, I have to have this. And it was my most expensive item that I purchased at the vintage market. It, oh, by the way, that piece was $20. Uh, the one, the, the flower, this one here, sorry. This was 20 bucks. <laughs> so the next piece that I got was 38. Look guys, look at her. Oh, are you kidding me? This is so cool. Look at how fun with the bird. And then they had these little succulents. By the way, these are actually doing really well inside. Surprisingly, I was kind of shocked. <laughs> but um, the little bird is my favorite. It's so cool. And look at all the details and stuff. There is something over here that is missing. Probably another one of these birds. My mom says, you know, try to find a bird. And then we could just kind of like uh, e E6000 glue to it, you know, just to kind of add to that collection. But, oh my God, guys, look at the detail of this thing. How cute. So I'm gonna display this in my Pottery Barn cabinet and I wanted to show you them together because I swear to God, I feel like they're sisters. Look at the color variations of that. I am so obsessed with this pinks and yellows and greens. I just like, I can't. That whole booth had me calling. I wanted to buy everything there. So yeah, this is my number one favorite piece so far. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys can agree with this because this is so cool. So I thought if these die, I can put other flowers in it or just leave it as is, but uh, I just could not leave it behind. It is so cool. Okay, I have to have this inside my cabinet because again, the yellows, the pinks, the creams, the golds, oh, I just, I can't. Look how beautiful this picture, uh, sort of picture, ah, plate is. And it was $3.50 and haha, -ha, it came with, came with the little uh, plate, plate holder. And you know what, it's probably, this is probably $3.50 if you think about it. So I pretty much got it for free. Oh, there's a name on the back of it. Uh, Cunningham and Pickett Ink. And it looks like it's from Stratford. And it's a hand decorative item. Oop, good thing it came off nicely and it didn't chip anything. Okay, so here you go. Look how pretty the flowers are, the roses. 
so pretty. And again, those pinks and yellows and greens, like very cool. So there's that item. Okay, the next item that I got is this. Now, Ashley ended up getting the creamer and I had my eye on this one. And I was also debating between the, um, it's the regular teapot, but in my head, I thought that this would be more, again, universal to decorate with this. It kind of looks like a trophy, which is kind of fun. And I also thought that it would be kind of cool to even put flowers in. And also to add on top of, again, some books. I can add this in, um, like even on my buffet, I could put this also in my Pottery Barn cabinet. And I imagine it probably had a top at one point, but just the, just the etching of it is so cool. I've never seen a silver piece etched. We've always seen them where they're just like playing with some detail. And I, I again, I had a hard time with the teapot, but also what made me not want it was the price. It was like 48 for the teapot. And then this one was 25. So I figured, you know what, this is, it's a great size to put anywhere. And so I feel like I would use it more than just displaying the teapot itself. So that's why I got this. And then also I want to let you guys know, please stay till the end of the video because I will be sharing with you guys Ashley's haul. I went over to her house and we recorded all her haul. So please stay till the end of this video for that. But yes, this is another cool piece that I got from Junk Stock. So my next haul from Junk Stock are paintings and also a mirror. So I was on the hunt again for floral paintings, any type of landscape. I wanted something that just, just me. I wanted something that is just a really unique frame, some beautiful, uh, unique vintage artwork and inexpensive. And they had so much for me to choose from. I regret buying a couple other paintings, but again, I stuck with my budget and I wanted to pick out pieces that I could not live without. So the first piece that I got from Omaha Brick Mill, I think what it was called, um, it had those beautiful uh, pictures of, um, I think it was, uh, I can't remember, Lily of the Valley. They had also some other beautiful uh artwork there and this was sitting in the chairs in the front and I just had to have it so here you go look how pretty the frame is I love it it's wood it's gold and it's like muted colors and it's like a matte so it's not a real oil painting it is a print but I think it is so pretty I just love the basket and the sunflower and again those pinky tones with the yellow and it was this very like a fun print to use. I feel like I could use this for spring. I can use this for summer. I could even use it going into fall. And I don't know if you guys can see how thick the frame is. It's it's pretty uh, chunky there. So I, I love that it wasn't just um, the frame. So I got this and it looks like it's from Kansas City, Missouri, which is kind of cool. Um, this was 25. So it was, again, the prices were really good this year. I felt like they catered to a lot of people who are on a budget and just want to be able to spread their dollars and have a good time and not be feel free that they need to have all their money on one item. So thank you, Junk Stock, for being very accommodating on that. Now, the next one is fun. I got what's some, a landscape print, but I absolutely could not get over the uh frame i still need to fix the back so it stays because it is a canvas print so i need to probably go to hobby lobby and have them put in a couple tacks for me in the back to keep it in but i loved the frame look how pretty this is guys i got this for 30. it was a little pricey but again it is an actual canvas it is a painting but look how beautiful the scene is it reminds me of summer at the lake or a pond or whatever. And I just, I, the frame alone is worth what I paid for. Um, for yeah, it's just, it's really cool. So leave a comment down below if you like this one. <laughs> Let me know if you like the florals or this one. Leave a comment down below. Now, the other piece that I got for 20 and I bargained for 18 
is a mirror and the frame alone is vintage but she made the mirror herself and i'm going to share with you guys how to do it so i could totally do this at home it, it was sounded so easy so maybe we might do a diy project i have some vintage windows that i kind of want to do the mercury glass to so let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like me to do that diy to that um okay here we go look at this vintage mirror oh you can see the reflection of my other goodies we're gonna go over here <laughs> so isn't that cool I, I i just love this i mean the frame alone look at that and it's a beautiful muted gold it isn't like in your face gold like shiny and it's just so pretty so how she did this and this was 20 by the way how she did it has a little stuff already mounted on the back which is cool she took a regular mirror and she spray painted it with the mirror uh mirror spray paint from amazon and i'm going to try to find it and link it in the description box down below so she did a couple coats of that and then she said she let it dry overnight then she misted clorox a lot of people do the vinegar method this was done with Clorox, which is still cool. So it's very like frosty and you could see the speckle of it. So it's done very well. And she misted just one mist of the Clorox. Then she would let it dry. And then she did um, the black spray paint on top. So you got your mirror, your Clorox, and then the black spray paint. And then each in between each coat, you'd let it dry. And that's how this turned out. It is so cool. I could totally do this. And again, the mirror. So what I was thinking about doing with this one is having it displayed maybe, probably me in um, on my buffet or even in my vintage cabinet, maybe like in my um, bookcase. So I'm gonna play around with it. I have to have this piece. It was $20, it's a good size, and it's a unique and different piece. So I think that's it for my junk stock haul. Again, comment down below which one's your favorite piece. And let's dive into next, um, let's do Grandpa's Red Barn. Um, let's go to the garage sale farm. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into Grandpa's Barn. I absolutely love this place. It was really fun. It was very interesting. They had a mix of things that were very like worn, which probably could be thrown away, mixed with really good, unique finds. So I kind of got a variety of everything and I try to find things that I feel like that I would actually use or pieces that were a good steal that I couldn't pass up and I just wanted to maybe DIY it, just kind of tweak it out. So the first piece that I thought that was kind of cool that I got for $2 is this easel. I don't know if you guys can see the texture of this. It has pads on it, which is kind of already nice. And what I liked about this is that the gold is very muted, so I don't have to do anything with it. Now, when I got this home, I immediately was like, oh my God, I was like, I have something that will match perfectly with this and is a good size. And again, I could use it for all sorts of paintings and all sorts of, uh, maybe even a mirror, anything, but I was just like, guys, look, I don't know if you guys can tell, look at the color tone on that. That is so perfect. And then the size, and then I was just like, are you kidding me? How cool <laughs> would that be on a, um, on my buffet, um, in my dinette? I mean, come on. It worked out great. And again, this was so cheap and inexpensive. And I was like, okay, I can't pass this up because I see these on Pottery Barn, even Amazon sell them. But for this price, sorry, I'm trying to put this picture down without it scratching my floor. And I was just like, again, it's a good, good size. So come on. <laughs> Look how fun this is. It is a bird cage. And I could not get over how cool it is. And look at the bottom. I am like obsessed with this. You can see the bottom. And it's heavy. 
I need to put some pads on it so it doesn't scratch my furniture, but I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna DIY it. I'm not going to spray paint it black. I'm not gonna do anything to it. Potted plant, can you guys imagine? A potted plant in here, have it spill out. You could even put a bird in there if you wanted with the potted plant, but just alone, this piece is so cool. I got this for $10, guys. Do you know how expensive these things are? They can easily go for three, thirty, forty dollars, maybe even fifty if you're buying it from like a, like a retail store like Pottery Barn or even like Wayfair. The next so. piece that I got was two dollars, and I know it's not vintage because it says it's dishwasher safe, but I did wash it in the dish dishwasher when I got it home. But I figured, you know what, can never have too much pottery. Look at the detail of this, guys, the little scallop edge, and it comes with, I don't know if you can see the bottom, how pretty that is with the ribs and just the creaminess along with the brown texture. And it came with a plate, isn't that pretty? It has the same tones as this plate. They're kind of sisters, right? Like. I was like, okay, we can have this together in the Pottery Barn cabinet. So we're gonna add that together with it to kind of display maybe some flowers in it. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna tweak. And again, you guys wanted me to do a decorate with me for my Pottery Barn cabinet. So I am gonna do that with you guys. I gotta decorate it and get it to my liking and then share with you guys how I styled it and how I do it. And also give you, again, tips and tricks. The items I got was a steal. I got books. Lots of vintage books. I love to display books on my fireplace. I love putting them in bookcases. I love putting them anywhere. So I got all these for $15. And that alone is a steal because usually one book, especially at junk stock, what I was seeing was one book, vintage book is eight to $10. Even like Goodwill, I feel like they don't have much vintage books, but um, they're like around that price. So she was selling each of her book for $2 and I asked her, I said, you know, I'm going to buy all these. So give me a good price. So that's what she did. But it's just a really pretty green. This one is called Louis Mahomic, Andrews Hoffer. I try to make sure whatever is on the book is not inappropriate. <laughs> Can you imagine displaying something that's like, you know, <laughs> So that's why I made sure, you know, whatever's on the book is appropriate as far as, you know, what it's about. <laughs> so I know if you think that's a little bit out of the box for me to say, but I figured, you know, what? I'm going to tell you guys anyway. So um, this one is cool. This one is the Webster's New World Dictionary, but I could not get over how cool this looks. Next one is brown. This one's called Profitable Stock Feeding. Well, I did get it from a barn, so I guess it's appropriate for a barn. <laughs> so I didn't even read all these, by the way. This is my first time reading this, guys. So, huh. so brown right here. Again, the color. Look how beautiful the spine is on that one. And look at this. It looks like wallpaper. How beautiful is that? And then it's just a regular, like, inside. But look how stunning that is. But look, $15 for all this. I think that's really good. So there's that. And then the last piece that I'm gonna share with you guys, it's kind of like a DIY project for sure. I need your guys' inspiration, comments, ideas. I'm gonna give you probably three or four options of to DIY this and you guys comment down below which one is your favorite and which one I should do. But I felt like the shade, this is a lamp by the way, the shade alone is worth uh, what I paid for because uh, I, it's huge and it's so unique and fun. So the, this one was $5, this lamp. And I really, really like it because the shade is so, it's pleated and pleated shades are like so uh, cottage style. I love anything with pleated or texture. And this shade, I don't know if you guys can see, it, it's cream and it's got a little bit of those pink tones. So I'm thinking about putting this on my buffet. So let me take off the top for you. So you guys put that up close so you guys can see that. And it's in good shape. It is not bent. It is not um, in bad shape at all. So that alone is a win for me for $5. Now, 
I ha I've DIY'd lamps in the past where I've painted them oil or bronze. And I know I don't really like to be too matchy matchy with my stuff because I want things to look lived in, but I feel like this is the problem that I'm running into with this lamp. So I don't know if you guys can see, the bottom is a beautiful brass. The middle is kind of like a brushed silver. And then the top is a bright gold. <laughs> so it's got a lot of movement, I'm gonna call it to it. But I really do like the, I really do like the wood but I'm like afraid that it's too much going on. So here are the options that I wanna do. And I'm gonna share with you a lamp that I have spray painted on oil raw bronze. So I'm gonna share with that so you guys can see what it looks like. So keep this bottom um, brass and spray paint all the way up here to a oil raw bronze, so option one. Option two, keep this gold and spray paint this all or bronze, including the bottom. Option three, keep it as is, and then just do rub and buff where this is like the, uh, it's, it's, it's a really good stuff. You could do that on any type of picture frames or anything that you want to create a really gold leaf finish, but a muted tone. I did that with my candlesticks in my um, living room. They were kind of like, a, again, that brushed color. Oh, it's falling apart. So those are the three options. So you guys let me know which one do you think is best. Um, I could go either way because this was, again, $5.00. And it's such a good deal that I could not pass it up. And it's it's a great size lamp. And it came again with a really good lamp shade. It just needs a little bit of cleaning and tweaking. So let's go ahead and go over my final haul, which is from Amazon. And these are a good one. I absolutely love these. It was so perfectly uh styled as far as cottage style to go in your home and they're just vintage and and they're really good prices too so i will leave those in the description box down below so let's go ahead and go over those okay let's go ahead and go over the final haul which is my amazon haul and i was looking for a vase at junk stock and i could not find anything <laughs> that was like a good size and that had some type of uh, vintage detail and then also was a good price. I didn't want to be spending $60, $80 on a vase. Oh, how pretty this is. Guys, look at the flower details on that. And it's crackled. So it looks, again, vintage, lived in, and it's so fun. It's a creamy color and each little piece of this is good. And it wasn't terribly expensive. I'm going to try to guess what it was. I think it was like 30 something dollars. Wasn't terrible. If it's at the wrong price, I'll put it in the corner of the screen here. And um, it is so good. And look at the size. I really could not live without it. I think it is so pretty. And mixed with blue and white, I think it would still be really fun. And then I just, I wanna incorporate a lot of pinks, yellows, blues, just all those fun summer colors. And, and what screams summer? than roses. Pads on the bottom, which is really cool, which is good. So that way it won't scratch your furniture. So again, I will leave that in the description box down below. Now the next pieces that I got were pillowcases and I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use yet. So my plan is for my couch is to incorporate the pillows that I already have, but mix some other more pillows in there and then maybe change out my cream linen to maybe some green or maybe a pink color. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna play around with it. So my first thought was to decorate with these ones, but I, cause it goes really well with the vase. So we'll see how the living room comes together. But I love these pillowcases. Now these are an 18 by 18 and they're sold individually. And I will put the price in the corner of the screen here. So I got two of them and they're like a chenille. I don't know if you can see. They have a beautiful tapestry. Still, I'm obsessed with tapestry. But I like that it was like expensive looking. It looks like it's from Pottery Barn. And the colors are not vibrant, which I love. I love the muted tone. So it doesn't scream in your face as far as like, like you know, really bright colors. They're very cottage. And it's so with the pillows, 
a lot of people, when they do their inserts, they would put like, okay, the pillowcase is an 18 by 18. I need to put an 18 by 18 pillow insert. No, you actually do the next size up. So you would do a 20 by 20 insert in this. So that way it's nice and full and fluffy. And so that way you could do your karate chop. And so I got two of these and I love that the, again, it's still got some blue. I don't know if you could see the blue in there. It's like a silver blue, has the gold tones, pinks, and also a sagey color. Really, really well made for how, what the price is. So I got two of those. And even if I don't use it this year, I think I might use it next year. We'll so these ones I really liked because I thought it would go so well with the existing ones that I have for my spring home tour. So that way, guys, if you do decide to get these, they will go perfect with the ones that I did for my spring home tour if you do have those at home. So maybe you can add this as like a pop of something on your, on your uh, couch, you know, just to add some interest to kind of switch it up. And these are, again, a good canvas. And these are an 18 by 18. And then this is sold in a two pack. And what I like about this is that it's two sided. So here's the first side. How fun. It is gorgeous. Look at it. It's got some, it looks like cone flowers, some regular flowers. And I love the vine. I don't know if you can see the edging of it. It, it really screams cottage to me. And look the back. So you could totally display them two different ways, which I love. And this, by the way, I also link the tablecloths and the runners. So that way you guys can incorporate that also in your living room if you kind of want them to kind of tie in. I'll put those in the description box down below as well. But look how pretty this is. So I got like a two pack. These were a little bit pricey. I think they were $30 for two, but I feel like that's pretty good compared to like other pillows. And then again, this is an 18 by 18. And I felt like I was like, you know what? I kind of can do like this and this. So it's technically four pillows. <laughs> That's what I told my husband when I got them. <laughs> so, um, and I think that this is so, it's a really pretty color and it's not in your face as far as color as well. It's very muted, but very cottage style. So, and they're again with both, all four of these pillows got a great zipper, which is really nice. And uh, they're like, I feel like, this you could totally get away with styling other textures and patterns without it being too much so that's why i got that um, if you guys have any questions or anything please leave it a, a comment down below if you on my haul and um i just i couldn't get over my items they're so fun and it was just a great weekend i had such a good time and yes Per request, I will be going back to the fall. And I also found out from my mom that they do a Christmas one. I did not know this. I thought it was just two seasons. So I will be definitely going back to the fall one as well. So let's go ahead and take a trip over to Ashley's house to share her hauls with you guys. Came to visit Ashley and we're gonna go over all the junk stock goodies that we got. The first find is this tray we got at the uh, first part of the junk stock and we absolutely love it. How much did we get this for, Ashley? I'm almost 25. 25. Yeah. It's such a steal. We just love the detail of it. It was very like, um, it's like extreme vintage. And the handle was just to die. So she just has it displayed for right now on her oven. Cake stand. There was two of them and we knocked the price down to, I think 20, uh, wait, it was 26 20. and I think you got it to 22 or 23. 23, yeah. But it's exactly like mine, only the bottom is a little bit different, but we just love this scallop edge. This is this, um, I guess you could call it creamer. Yeah. And this is beautiful because it is etched and it's part of that set. I got the other one that, um, that looks like uh, an urn but we got this for 12. The next thing that she ended up getting was this beautiful little trivet that she just decided to display over by her pantry with this beautiful basket of flowers. It's so pretty. I love it. And how much did we get that for? Five. Five, yeah. yeah. But it's, is it porcelain? No, it's no. plastic, but it looks like porcelain. So pretty. The next thing that we spotted that like we couldn't live without $14 a piece, mm -hmm. but then we ended up getting it for 23 yeah, I think. I think so. Yeah, 23 So they were 14 a piece, and then we got them for uh, $23 or $25 for both, because they're originally 30 and they're just beautiful. 
So the color is yellow and she, you know, we do like it, but I think what we're gonna probably, we're, she's gonna paint her walls a different color, like a creamy color. And I suggested like a crackle glaze, cause I think the yellow is just really pretty because the flowers pop. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys think, um, whether she should paint them a different color or leave it or do a crackle finish, but they're really pretty. Uh, you want to show on the wall just so they can see like isn't this the color that you're going to be painting yeah, right this is yeah. the origami white origami white okay Sherman Williams and then we'll just going that through yeah. the hallway where this will go so yeah. it'll, this yeah. will be where the, in the hallway yeah. and i really like it against that white i think it's i think it's pretty yeah. but yeah we'll always see how it goes the last find from junk stock was a total steal i felt like we robbed them on this one we saw chairs that were selling for like 30, 40 bucks and they were smaller than this and they were wood. And so we saw this beautiful green chippy color. We're definitely gonna have to put a clear coat on this to protect it from the sun. But we got it for a steal for $8. The lady wanted to give it to us for 10 cause she's like, oh, it's a little, you can't really sit in it and we're like well we're not going to use it like that we're going to use it as a garden stole so i think it turned out so cute and we just love the green color look at that it's like a perfect vintage green um let's get we're going to get a picture of it without the plant so you guys can see the true chippiness here's the color look at all the chippiness love it very pretty <music> Thank you guys so much for joining us today on our haul. We had such a blast and we were so happy to share you guys all these beautiful vintage items that we ended up picking up from junk stock please leave a comment down below on which one of your favorite items from ashley's haul i will see you guys in the next one bye friends